Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Telos Backslash. This board features Telos's setback camber with a long nose rocker, basically S camber. So you get rocker in the nose and then a setback camber that's more dominant under the rear foot. This is gonna give you load pop, snap and drive, but all from the back foot. But what you're gonna get when the board's weighted up is more accentuated rocker, so it's gonna give you ease of entry in and out of turns as well as more optimal powder float. This board is available in 143, 148, 153, and 158. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on an overcast snowstorm of a day with blowing winds. You had fresh pow everywhere. You had old pow underneath you, chopped shunder, powder groomers, soft groomers, windblown groomers, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. The overall flex of this board comes in around the middle of the road. Now remember, it is directional, so that does mean softer nose. That is accentuated by that rocker out there, so that's gonna be the softest flex, and then it progressively gets stiffer back towards the tail, but not overly stiff. The torsional flex is highly abundant. At speeds, you will notice that there is some flap and you will feel that under the front foot. In rutted out terrain, this board can get bucked around, so remember to keep your knees bent, but by and large, it's usually planing across the top. If you do hammer into something, your body is gonna get rocked. The pop of this board is initiated off the back foot. That's where you're gonna load up the most camber, and as you roll back, it snaps. It's very easy to engage. You don't feel like you're having to aggressively load it, but you do get a lot of rebound out of it. So there's basically two kinds of butters you do with this board. If you're on the tail, it's a high speed wheelie. You just don't have that much surface area back there. The tail kick isn't that aggressive. With the nose, you've got that rocker. It's a little more longer. You get your weight out over it and this board acts like a spatula through snow. You can get sideways, you can pop a 180, land on it. You feel right where that camber meets the rocker. That's the key flex point that you wanna be aiming for to engage it with. This board will butter if you know what you're doing. So what I like about this board is that if you can carve, you're gonna be able to carve. If you can't carve, you're not gonna get the most out of it. It's fun for its size. It's nimble edge to edge. There's a great power transmission. And when you push in off that rear insert, you get a lot of power out of the tail. You notice that right away. And it really does let you drive this board. You're basically center flexing what you can and it lets you apex it. This board will lay a trench if you want it to, or you can be more mellow and do short, tight, quick setup turns, those swoopy carves from one side of the trail to the other, or, you know, screw it, lay it over and get deep with it and weird. Who's this board for? The party boarding, pow chasing, volume shifted, loving guy. All right, so I own one of these, and well, I don't even know why I rode this because I feel like nothing absolutely changed in it other than the graphic, and maybe they tweak the core a little bit. Overall, it's a fun board for what it is. It's predictable, you know what you're gonna get. It's zippy. It's just a blast. Like, this is probably one of the best boards that Telos makes, in my opinion, and they just absolutely crush it with it. Comparable boards, the Nerd Relic, the Niche Pyre, the Rome Service Dog. Binding recommendations, the Rome Katana, the Ride C6, the Burton Malavita. This has been my review of the Telos Backslash. Do you agree, do you disagree, do you own one, are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.